Why were miracles so big in Jesus' day and not as big and crazy now? Hmm. Yeah, can you imagine it? Jesus shows up. Pastor Michael always says he crashes every funeral he goes to. <laughs> Get up. Uh, we only got a couple of fish and some loaves of bread, Jesus. There's 5,000 men here. Boom. <laughs> like, that would have been so, so amazing to see. Are, are you kind of jealous sometimes of what 2,000 years ago people saw? Blind people seeing, paralytics for 38 years walking, demons being cast out. Do you kind of wish you lived 2,000 years ago? I don't. I mean, that would have been sweet. But, but think of that. For three years, I mean, even if you were part of Jesus' inner circle, one of his apostles, you saw a couple dozen miracles. But, but you know what most of those men did not have? A copy of this. These days, we walk around with the entire word of God in our pockets. And I think when you get to heaven, Peter's going to say, What? <laughs> oh my God, like we, we tried to remember the things that Jesus, they were all written down for you. So I, I think we have to be careful of like being jealous of people who lived 2,000 years ago. Not only do we have air conditioning, Wi-Fi, and FaceTime, <laughs> we have Matthew and Mark and Luke and John. We have Acts and Romans, First and Second Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. We, we had all these things that those witnesses of the miracles did not have. And I actually think that's my answer to the question. Why did Jesus do so many miracles then? Well, the point of the miracles was to get people to listen to his word. Read the Gospel of John. Jesus said, these are signs to let you know that I'm not making this up. I actually came from heaven. I'm the Son of God. And unless I do something big, you won't believe me. But now we have a, a better word. Something we can open every single day and read, find our faith and confidence in. If you want to write down a passage to prove this, uh, go to 2 Peter. I love this. Uh, chapter 1. Peter said, We did not follow cleverly devised stories when we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. It's all right. We saw the miracles. Verse 19. And we also have the message as something completely reliable, and you will do well to pay attention to it as a light shining in a dark place. He's like, okay, you want something even more reliable? You want something you can depend on, have with you always? You don't need a miracle. You got the message. Did you enjoy this video? Oh, we would love to share with you so much more. Just click here.